Hi guys, welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to create a PUBG pan using Creo Parametric. So let's get started. So um, yeah, first of all, I need to tell you this, like uh, I don't have any exact dimension for this pan. Like uh, I have measured uh, the pan, which I am uh, currently using in my home and I'm doing this modeling. Okay. So if you need this exact dimension, you can comment below so that I will upload this 2D drawing as a CAD file. And even though the uh, including the modeling file in our channel website okay so yeah let's get started so first of all wait a minute guys like let me just start the working directory where we where we have to save uh, our cat models okay so then let's click on new and click the default template and let's rename our part as um, either like uh, i'm just going on with the pan either if you want to change name to the pubg like you can able to change it by your own so then our unit has MMNS spot solid ABS. Yeah, that's fine. So now I'm just going to start my sketch over the front plane. Okay, so front sketch and then sketch view. So here at first I'm just going to draw a circle. Like let me adjust this diameter value of 208. Okay, that's fine. And I can able to close this uh, sketch. Okay, excuse me. So then I'm just going for the blend and in this blend I'm just going to select the sketch and this height value like I'm going to uh, reverse this towards downwards and I'm just going to adjust this value as 48 and I'm just directly go for the sketch and then let's go for the sketch view. So here I'm just going to draw a circle so this will be um, a little bit uh, smaller than the previous circle okay so as you can uh, able to see the pan image here. So we can see like this will have some sort of difference like a slanted circles. Okay, so this will be 170. Yeah. So then let's click on OK, and you can able to see this got uh, created here. But here we may have some sharp edges, but that's fine. We can able to add the round features here. So I think this looks really good. Okay, let's click on OK, and let's go for shading with edges. So here I'm just going to add the round features on the bottom. So let's go for the round and let's click on this edge and for the round value i'm just going to enter a value of 18 okay so then as you can see this is a kind of uh, entire solid modeling right but here the, as you can see the pan it should have some hollow space so for that i'm just going to use the shell tool for this surface and i'm going to make this thickness value as 4 okay so this pan should have some higher thickness value right because this is um, going to be the cooking part here we will heat this so it should have some hardness right so the thickness 4 is enough for me so then let's click on ok so the next thing that here we have to do is like we have to create a handle for the pan so which will be like um, used for holding the plan while using on the stove ok so I'm just going to select the front plane let's go for the sketch and let's go for the sketch view so here um, I have calculated something like if you have to create a handle like you need to um, adjust the more and more values and if you have to create some radius values curves over here but I'm just going to make this as a simplest part for you guys okay so here I'm just going to place like uh, four points like one uh, and this vertical alignment to this point two three and four like we have done four points right so first of all let me just adjust this dimension so this will be 133 and either this will be also changed and this height will be 46 and this will be also same as 46 okay so we have aligned these two points so for the next these two points i'm just going to click the dimension and let's adjust this distance as 30 and from here till the center point this will be 170 um yeah 173 yeah that's fine so here we have aligned all these four points okay so by using these four points we are just going to create our handle in a very very easy method guys okay so first of all i'm just going for the r tool center and ends here i'm just going to use this as a center point and let's start from the tangent point as you can see here so from here like this okay so then i'm just going to place one more point to have this vertical alignment over here yeah this Okay, so now we can able to um, delete this line 
this is uh, like we don't want this line and now i'm just going to mirror this on the other side or else like you can be able to create one more arc by using this point as a center point and then you can able to draw an arc here okay so either uh, you can use that or else like uh, let's uh, like we can go for the smartest way okay so let's select the mirror tool here and then for covering this area either you can use the center point and then you can able to draw an arc or else i am just directly go for the project tool because we have already created a 3d model right so we can use the project tool and we can delete the unwanted segments that we don't okay and yep okay so the next thing is on the other hand like we have to create a circle here okay so this diameter value will be 30 okay that's fine so now here we have to join this point and this hook okay so from here a tangent to this circle okay and the same on the other, other hand like uh, yeah tangent that's fine so now let's delete the unwanted segments and this is the outer profile of the pan handle okay so here we need to have add some inner holes for this for hanging this pan on any other stand or it may be like a um, wall okay so now for this i'm just going to draw two circles on these points and this diameter value will be 9 and this will be 3 and now we can directly join these two circles by a line either you can use the normal line tool and then you can directly draw a line and then you can make tangent by using this tangent tool or else like you can directly go by this line tangent you can directly click on the circle and then you can directly click on the circle and you can see these both two are tangent here you can see this is tangent and this line is code connected and one more line from the top to this circle yeah i think this tangent tangent yeah tangent and tangent that's fine now let's delete the unwanted segments here yep so this is the very very simplest way for creating a pan handle okay i think uh, you guys found some easy points over this pan handle i think yeah so then let's click on okay and now i'm just going to extrude this towards downwards yep towards downwards to a depth value of 7 okay so now here you can see a little gap over here yeah anyway like this pan should have some external extruded cut over there okay so uh, let's create a external like a external grip for this plan so let's uh, select this plane this will be the top plane sketch and let's go for the sketch view so here at first i'm just going to place a point on this reference and i'm going to assign this height value to be a value of 8 yeah that's fine so then i'm just going to draw one more line from here till here and then i am just going to assign this angle value as 50 yeah and then this distance like from here to this point this will be 1 like 1.5 yeah and then i am just directly going to complete my sketch by drawing a lines like a shape like this okay good and then a center line for the revolve tool anyway we are going to use this revolve tool for the circular thing okay so okay and revolve and once you go for the revolve you can see like this revolve tool is not generated here because like yeah just a minute yeah so here you can able to see this revolve tool like uh yeah just a minute i'll just rotate this part yeah here you can able to see this revolve tool will be created up to this point but after that this may get um like uh, this may get uh, extruded here okay so because this is the problem here as you can't able to create this revolve on this extruded cut feature here okay so for that we don't want to worry about that i'm just going to enter an angle of uh, 160.9 okay so this will be created on the single side but for the other side i'm just going to use the variable on the side too and the same value of 160.9 yeah and you can able to see this is got created in here and this looks really good right so then let's click on okay and here you can able to see this this part has been extruded here so i'm just going to add some chamfer features for this one and for this one and i'm going to add the chamfer value as 1.5 for the d value okay okay good and for this thing also the same as 1.5 okay that's fine okay so that's all guys like this looks uh, really good right here 
and then I just want to add some couple of round features here so yeah let me just add uh, round features so for that I'm just going to click on the round okay so first of all I'm just going to create a round feature for the sorry control is that yeah for the outer side so the outer value will be the round value of one as this will be like minimum value and the next round feature like this will be inner so for the inner it should be so it's like somewhat bigger right so round value of two and one more round on the bottom so like for this line this will be also, also the two as same okay and then one more round on this hollow surface here like this hole like this will be two on the bottom also this will be two and then let's click on okay and here like uh, yeah we have done all these round features here so i just want to add some text over here like as you guys have seen in the thumbnail itself like we need to create some text over here right so yeah sorry i just have drawn this on the cross side yeah text like this okay so this text will be pubg right sorry <laughs> sorry pubg yep and the font either we can able to select any kind of font over here i think this looks good right so then let's click on ok and let's rotate this part and let's rotate like this and let's make it as a center point here ok either we can able to center on this time or else don't worry we don't want to worry about that um, either we can have this total dimension I think uh, let's place this as 90 and let's place this as 45 to make it as a center point here so this will be 23 uh sorry let me as 24 or else like let me just um adjust this to 96 and this will be uh 52 right oh sorry 48 yeah 24 and this will be 12 yeah that's fine we have done this as a center point okay and i just want to extrude this to a value of 0 0.1 yep okay so that's all guys like we have done this part so the final thing that we have to do is some coloring so for this part appearances for this part so for the appearances i'm just going to use the misc fabricated black color first of all let me just create a coloring for this entire part and then um a little bit golden color for this part okay so for that metals gold and gold scratch and for the text okay so then let's click on okay either if we need to make this this is fine um i think this coloring looks really good like okay if you need to change this you can go for the edit and you can go for the bump we can make it as a rough and yeah let's close this okay and this looks really good over here you can see the little bumps here but here also you can able to change oops sorry here also you can able to go for the edit and you can go for the bump and you can adjust the scale over here like little bit smaller yeah and the height as positive as one all right let's go for positive five let's increase the scale okay that's all so that's all guys and thanks for watching and if you want more videos related mechanical engineering or any other content, you can comment below so that I will upload more and more videos based on that. Okay. So thank you guys. Like we will see in the next video with a very, very interesting content. Until then, bye.